they'd broken his back. It was the final blow. I couldn't believe my eyes. It was just too much. It was too much. Unexpectedly, Mr. T arrives to defend his pride brother. He was winning the encounter when a second line peeled off and went to his brother's assistance. Mr. T took a serious pounding. Then Mr. T knew it was time to run. There goes Mr. T. The young attackers pursue Mr. T. Kinky Tail is left alone, bleeding, injured and unable to escape. Suddenly, the four came running back towards Kinky Tail. On arriving at his body, they savagely attacked him for a second time. The smell, the sound, uh, the sight of it all, it's a little overwhelming. Despite the intensity, Peter and Karen must abide by the national park philosophy to let nature take its course with minimal human interference. You always see and hear about lion fights, but now it's happening, it, it's real. The most gruesome stuff we could ever think about happened. They started feeding on him while he was still alive. For lions to eat other lions is, is fairly unusual. It's almost like the final act of dominance over this individual that they've taken out. They'd eaten most of his hind legs when Kinky Tail finally took his last breath. We didn't stick around for too much longer. When we all returned to the lodge, it was just a somber mood. Nobody knew what to think, what to say. The roaring didn't stop, not until six, seven o'clock the following morning. It was constant. Karen and Peter drive out to the lion battlefield. Not much is left of Kinky Tail. What we found there was very disturbing. We only found his head and then his two front paws. You can't believe something so special or so proud comes to a humble end like this. The sight was an emotional moment. When you've spent four years viewing an animal of his majesty, to now see a jackal running off with a very large portion of his mane is a little heartbreaking. 